Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Max. Hello, everybody. This is Jen. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So, how has your week been, January? Not bad. Actually, recently I have bought some new plants for my new apartment.、Oh, really? That's cool. I would love to have some plants or flowers, but I have a cat and a dog at home, and they might try to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. So you can only have pictures of plants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we live on the second floor, so I still see the ones outside. Hmm. That's not so bad then. How long have you been living in that apartment now? I heard you moved recently. Oh, we've been there long enough to put down roots. I see. That put down 这个词组呢，就是把什么什么东西放下来的意思。Roots 表示树根。Put down roots 不要直译是把那个树根放下来的意思啊。那这个短语实际表达的意思呢，就是扎根、安家落户，或者说定居下来的意思。Yeah, this means to settle or establish oneself in a place. So long enough to call it home then? Yeah, sure. It only took us a month to feel that we had put down our roots. I see. But why do you use roots? Well, when a plant or tree grows its roots into the ground, that's where it will stay. Basically, that spot is the tree's house. <laughs> I get it. For me, my roots are right here in Changsha. I don't think I can move to another city. I have a good job here, a nice apartment, great friends. Yeah. Why change when you're in a bed of roses? Exactly. 那说到 a bed of roses， 那我脑海当中浮现的画面就是一张撒满了玫瑰的大床。那在俚语当中呢，它的引申含义就是称心如意、一帆风顺的意境，或者说比较令人轻松的情况。Yeah, if you're in a bed of roses, you're in a comfortable situation. You know, that's two plant-related idioms that you have said. Are you doing that on purpose? Because I mentioned that I have bought some new plants. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. But now that you have pointed that out, we should really talk about plant-related idioms. Yeah, I suppose so. So let's do it. 那在今天的节目当中呢，我们就来聊一聊跟植物相关的一些英文习语。Yeah. So one thing I heard the other day. What does a something want amount to a hill of beans mean? Oh, that's a good one. That means to be insignificant or result in or amount to nothing. I see a hill of beans. 直译就是满山的豆子啊。那可能在国外豆子是比较便宜的。那可能一大片豆子最多只值一两分钱。所以 a hill of beans 指的就是毫无价值、一文不值的。Not amount to a hill of beans， 也就是指的无足轻重的意思。So if you say that the boss being angry with you won't amount to a hill of beans， that means even though the boss is angry， nothing will happen. Yeah， pretty much. But let's hope the boss won't get angry with us. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But why beans? Well, it, it could be tea for all that matters. Can you imagine having a large hill of beans? Yeah, I suppose that would be a big deal. <laughs> well, that's why we say it. Not amount to a hill of beans as insignificant or amount to nothing. Hopefully, our listeners will be able to use this idiom, or our hard work will not amount to a hill of beans. <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> anyway, let's make hay while the sun shines. Oh. I'm surprised you know that one, actually. Well, if I didn't know English sayings when I'm an English teacher, then I'd be up a gum tree. Whoa, slow down. Sure. 那我们就先来说说 make hay while the sun shines. Hay 这个单词呢，就是干草的意思。Make hay while the sun shines， 实际就是要趁着太阳高照晒晒干草。其实也就是说要把握住机会，勿失良师。感觉跟中文中的趁热打铁意思差不多。It's kind of like strike while the iron is hot. Is that basically the same? Yeah, this means just to make good use of a chance to do something while it lasts. And if you know anything about farming, then you know the sunshine is the best way to turn grass into hay. Yeah, 出大太阳的时候呢，才是把草晒成干草最好的时机，所以要把握住机会。Make hay while the sun shines. So why are you surprised that I know this one? Because I didn't know it until recently, <laughs> and I'm a native speaker. 
Well, I suppose it's the most impossible to know everything in English. That's right. Even native speakers learn new words and phrases day by day. Right. 那接下来就说说 to be up a gum tree 这个短语 Gum tree 指的就是橡胶树 To be up a gum tree 就是爬到橡胶树上去了那这个表达实际的意思呢就是陷入了困境进退两难 Yeah, this one actually comes from Australia. It means you're in trouble or have a serious problem. Yeah, so being in the tree isn't the problem; it's what at the bottom of the tree that you should be worried about. That's right. This idiom comes from the fact that crocodiles would chase a small animal. That animal would run up a gum tree for safety, but crocodiles can wait days for their meal to climb back down. Yeah, that's why we use it to mean you are in trouble. <laughs> 那这个短语呢，其实就是源自于有些动物为了躲避鳄鱼的猎捕，就爬上了高高的橡胶树。但是鳄鱼可能在树底下等上好几天。那这样爬上树的动物呢，也就陷入了麻烦，陷入了困局当中。Anyway, let's move on to another one. Oh, speaking of trees, have you heard of bark up the wrong tree? Of course I have. Who hasn't? <laughs> Now you're barking up the wrong tree there. I think it's fair to say many people haven't heard this one. Yeah, maybe you're right. The bark 就是犬吠的意思 Bark up the wrong tree. 字面意思就是说对着错误的树狂叫 In English, it means to make a wrong assumption about someone or something. 意思就是说对某事或者是某人做出了错误的假设，也就是攻击错了目标 Yeah, so this means you're looking for something in the wrong place, or just going about it something in the wrong way. Yeah, you can say this to a person who wants to borrow some money from you. Yeah, like this. You are barking up the wrong tree. I am not lending you any money. Right, but this is strong, so be careful who are you using this with. Yeah, but even if you don't trust that person with your money, you might go out on a limb to help them. Go out on a limb. 这个短语的意思呢，就是表示冒险，处于危险的境地当中 ，in a dangerous situation. Hmm. This means you put yourself in a risky position in order to support someone or something. Yeah, but why is this one a Plant-related idiom. Well, another word for a tree's branch in English is a limb.、Mm. So if you climb a tree and go on its limb, it's quite dangerous because the branch might not be able to support your weight, and then it might break. Ah, I see. That limb, 这个单词呢，在英文当中除了表示四肢，还有树枝枝干的意思。Go out on a limb, 也就是爬到了树的枝干上面。那我们爬树的时候呢，爬得离树干越远，枝干就越细，所以也变更容易折断，那就更危险嘛。It makes sense, I suppose. If I can help my friends, even when it might get me into trouble, I'd go out on a limb for them. Anyway, let's have one more before we call it a day. Sure. Do you know how I feel today? Let me guess. You feel fresh as a daisy. <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> Just a wild guess. <laughs> okay. That daisy 呢，就是雏菊的意思，也是我最喜欢的花之一。因为雏菊看上去就让人心情很好，充满朝气的感觉，所以 as fresh as a daisy 就用来形容人们精神饱满、充满活力的这种状态。So if you feel as fresh as a daisy, you feel energetic and lively. Yeah, for me, I only feel as fresh as a daisy after work. Actually, for me too, or right after a nice hot shower in the winter. So we went through quite a lot of plant-related idioms today. Yeah. And there are a lot more we could have covered, but sadly, that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, maybe next time we can cover the others. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So, thank you so much for listening. This is Max. This is Jen. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Bye. Bye.